Hey, what's up? Um, I wanted to continue a little bit on the third eye. Okay. Now, your third eye, or your brow chakra, okay, it works together with your your eyes. You know, it works with your eye, your physical eyes. So, I'm going to teach you a very simple thing that's going to help you to be able to view or have visions with your third eye and that's going to be viewing auras and this is uh, real easy to get started with okay it's very very simple uh, I'll show you a simple technique um, take your hand now if you've got like a white surface like uh, your wall maybe your walls white you know you got here in a well lit area you're going to want to take and put your hand up by the wall and just kind of spread your fingers right and focus with your eyes on the wall past or through your fingers right and just focus on the wall and as you're staring at the wall in between your fingers or even around your whole hand a color is going to appear maybe an, an inch out or so and uh, this is going to be you know the primary color of uh, your aura but you can't really look at it long like when you first start doing it especially when you focus on the color it's just gonna fade away but this is gonna help with your your third eye actually working with your eyes and uh, you know helping you to see um, another thing you can do is visualization and this is, is very, very simple to do. Um, you simply maybe, you take a picture. Let's say you got a painting, right? So you take a painting and just look at the painting and try to study the details on it. Okay? Then just simply close your eyes and try to picture the painting as it is. And, and try to focus on every single detail that you can remember, you know? Start with the frame you know and, and the frame the, the color the, is it wood is it metal then take your picture paint the background paint the people in look at you know their clothes or is there sun in the background I mean try to visualize the whole thing and just these visualization exercises is, is really gonna help you to develop that site um, Another thing you could do, and I said uh, raise energy, you know, and if you just close your eyes, you know, and you can do this setting up or laying down, you know, um, simply uh, take a ball of energy, form a ball of energy right here in your third eye, and bounce it from the third eye out the back of your head, and back and forth, back and forth, in and out, and bounce it right straight through, okay? This is really going to help to open it. And then take that energy ball and at eye level, wrap it around your head and just spin it around. This is going to be real easy to do. And, uh, you know, you're, you're also manipulating energy with your awareness, you know. And the better, you know, you become at uh, manipulating energy, you know, the better, you know, you're going to be at doing everything because everything is energy. The reality you experience is energy, your energy. So you're going to want to become familiar with uh, seeing auras, you know, viewing the energy, manipulating the energy. This is going to help you uh, big time. Uh, another thing you can do, and this is this is kind of unconventional. I don't want to, you know, I had a computer on my program, you know, that I noticed, you know, when uh, I was playing music that it helped, but Let's say if you got like a, a strobe light or something, you know, and if you turn it on and close your eyes and kind of look at it, as it flashes, you notice that your eyes are going to kind of move. It's just going to kind of flicker this area here, and it's going to get that whole area working, you know, and, and just kind of jumping there. And this is going to be, you know, a real good exercise to help you develop sight as well. Um, another thing you can do. Um, it's just get into a meditative state, you know, where your your body's asleep and your mind's awake, and demand it, you know. Um, I see now. 
vision now, or uh, now I see through my energy eyes. You know, I, I say that uh, a lot, and this, you know, and even even demanding that, it, it may even help you have an out of body experience as well. You know, it, it could bring your awareness too, and that's a good thing. Awareness now, I mean, even that works. But um, you know, seeing the energy is definitely going to help you. You know, look look at your aura; it's going to pop up, and you're going to see it maybe an inch out. You know, whatever color it is. You know, try to try to look at your hand at first, and between your fingers, then try to view your arm. If you've got a friend to do this with, it, it's uh, definitely going to be, uh, you know, a fun, you know, even a fun experience. You know, you know, you could take the time to try to view each other's aura, maybe like look at yours and kind of see what color you get, and then let your friend do the same thing with theirs, and then look at each other's and see if what you're seeing matches up okay now like I said your your brow is working with your eyes so it's definitely gonna help you now once you, you you're, you're able to see this you're, you're perceiving auras and you've seen your friends and you've seen yours try to visualize close your eyes and now you can view this is what you're gonna be working on your visions with your eyes closed right and visualize yourself and see yourself in every detail and then see the color of your aura that you've seen around you and watch it uh, close your, do this with your eyes closed and see the color around you okay and then take it you know like I said if you've got a friend or somebody else you know do the same thing with them see them see the, the colors around them this is gonna help you, you know that, that goes with uh, that's just you know the visualization exercise you know, plus, you know, it's going to help you to view uh, auras as well. Now, if you have trouble seeing somebody's aura, you can even try to feel for it. And I can teach you how to feel energy as well. Uh, it's a real easy thing to do. First off, you take your hands, right? If you take your thumbs and you put it in the palm of your hand in the center, and you just kind of rub on both of them, right? And then do like this right here. And go in and out, in and out. And focus on the center. And you're going to feel like a, a magnetic static. And it's going to be through all of your fingers and your hand. You're going to immediately feel your energy. Uh, another quick thing to do, very, very easy. Just clap your hands a few times. Or do like this right here. And what I like to do, I, I like to uh, play guitar. So I notice when I play guitar, after I get done playing, my whole hands are just vibrating like crazy, full of energy. You know, and, and you get your energy stirred up in your hands. You know, this is good for the energy movement throughout your body, you know, raising energy. You know, it's good exercise for you, too. But to feel someone's aura, you know, you want to let your energy settle after doing maybe, you know, a clapping exercise or something. And just feel, maybe try uh, chakras first, feel around, you know, without touching, you know. And you can usually feel somebody's energy. And later on, I'm going to teach you how to perform a healing and how to feel energy. But it, that's going to be a long video, so. But I, I'm definitely going to show you guys. But um, practice these things, it's really going to help.